If you've used Illustrator before, you probably tried a feature called Live Trace, which allows you to turn raster imagery, bitmaps, into vectors. Well, the folks at Adobe have taken this to another level with a feature called Image Trace. In the window menu, go down to Image Trace to open the Image Trace panel. Select your bitmap image. You can choose one of the presets or dial in your own custom setting. I'm going to use high color just to show you what the default generates. Illustrator gets right to work and this takes far less time than the live trace used to. And we'll see that we'll also get path, anchor, and color counts once this is done. And we've got 12,000 colors and 15,000 paths. But the fidelity of the image is remarkable. And if you dial this up all the way, it gets even more so. You can compare your tracing result to the source image to dial in the results you want. You can see the outlines to see just how many vectors you have. And if you want, you can go ahead and expand this to begin to work on the art itself. Well, there you go. There is the new image trace in Illustrator CS5. And as a special bonus, the reason why I use this wacky image as my gravatar. It's because it's student artwork. And back in 2009, in my first blog post, I used student artwork, which I've continued to do up to today. Featuring student artwork, I believe, is the role of every teacher. And so that's why I am the Scotch Gonator when you <laughs> look at that gravatar on all my posts. And thank you, Bassam Salome, for this wonderful artwork and the folks at Adobe for this new image trace feature.